Hello and happy Saturday to you. On Thursday, March the 12th, the Parish Life Ministry, upon advice from church member and Professor Linda Morrison of the Immunology Department at St. Louis University, decided to suspend at First Church worship for the next three weeks. It's our sincere hope that we will be able to meet again in the sanctuary on Palm Sunday, April the 5th. Until then, we are making alternative provisions for our communal spiritual life. At 10 o'clock, I invite you to meet music director Leon Burke, director of Christian education Tracy Harris, and student minister Merriman Boyd, and me, for a live feed from our Facebook page and we're hoping our YouTube channel. To get to the Facebook page, log into Facebook and then go to the uh, uh, go to facebook.com slash firstchurchwg. To get to our YouTube channel, well, if you're seeing this, then you've already found it. So just come on back here on Sunday morning. And, uh, well, we're feeling very confident about the Facebook feed, but uh, less so about the YouTube feed. So um, if the YouTube live feed doesn't work on the 15th, we do feel confident that we'll have it ready for you on March the 22nd. That's 10 o'clock on Sundays. I'll see you there, or rather, you'll see me. And uh, many thanks to church members Ian Didrickson and Cliff Airy who have made all of this possible. If you cannot connect with us uh, either way, either of these ways, then look us up on SoundCloud beginning Monday when we'll be uploading the service from there. That's soundcloud.com slash firstchurchwg. Maybe you'd prefer to have a paper copy of what we'd be doing and saying. And in that case, please send a reply email to me at ddenoon at firstchurchwg.org with your name, your street address, and then we'll mail you a complete copy of everything that we've done and said on Sunday morning. For those of you who've been taking part in our Bible study, based on Amy Jill Levine's Entering the Passion of Jesus, A Beginner's Guide to Holy Week, please join me and Tracy and Merriman again at 11 o'clock on Sunday, and at that time I will lead an online discussion about chapter 3 of the book, which also will be my subject for the morning message at 10, Money versus Values, Some Thoughts on Jesus' Teaching at the Temple. Participants in the Bible study will be able to react in real time to what's going on on screen with comments and emojis, and then we'll be able to react to you. That's all tomorrow morning, starting at 10 a.m. on Facebook and YouTube, and then at 11 a.m. on Facebook only. And if you can't join us on, right on time, we'll be recording as we're streaming, so you can get worship and Bible study at your convenience later. Honestly, the only thing that worries me about all this is that you'll like it so much, you'll use it as an excuse not to come to worship once we're back in the sanctuary. Because it's not out of the question that this should be something that we ought to do every Sunday going forward. But I'm not too worried about that because one of the really great things about life in a faith community is seeing your people from week to week. We'll be missing each other and we'll be glad to see one another again when this outbreak is over. And that brings me to another point. Because you can't be directly in contact with each other, at least not much, until the first part of April, Please keep your ties strong. Call your sisters and brothers from church and see how they're doing. Or send them a note and let them know that you're thinking about them. Keep those connections strong. If you need contact information, okay, more alphabet soup here, go to the church database at FCCWGSTLM. Oh, that's the initials for First Congregational Church, Webster Groves, St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> and then put a dot there, and then type Breeze, C-H-M-S. That's the word Breeze, followed by uh, the initials for Church Home Management System. Then follow that by a dot, and then type com and then put in a slash, 
No, don't put in a slash. You've got everything there. Uh, that'll take you right where you need to go. Hit enter. And then um, you'll uh, set up your account if you haven't already done so, and you'll connect. Uh, it sounds complicated, but if you do, if, if none of that is possible, call the church office. We will be here most of the time, most mornings, Mondays through Thursdays, 314-962-0475, um, extension 15 is how you get to Debbie, and she'll get you the information you're looking for. All right. So, thanks for giving me a listen. I want to end with a lovely prayer from our former student minister and now pastor of United Protestant Church in Hilo, Hawaii, Christopher Zarnicki, who included this on his own Facebook feed yesterday. Let us pray. Loving God, our world is in need of great healing right now. All around the world, people are getting sick, people are afraid, and people are living in fear. Many of us are unsure what will come next, if our family will be affected, and how we will respond if these things happen. There are so many questions that have yet to be answered, yet in this time of prayer, when our hearts feel so heavy, let us affirm that your love will be an answer, that your love will heal our fears and calm our anxieties, that your love will move us to care for our neighbors and share what we have, that your love will work to protect those who are now in harm's way, healthcare workers, those unable to work, and those experiencing food scarcity, that your love will see us through these troubling times, these trying times, however difficult they may be, and that one day soon there will be health, there will be wholeness, and there will be peace for all. Amen. Peace be with you. Until tomorrow. And then we'll see each other again.